What is the difference between demand and inverse demand? Well, demand is quantity as a function of price. Inverse demand is price as a function of quantity, but they're basically the same thing. And I actually do not even make this distinction in my class when I teach because it's just annoying to come up with an entire other name for something that is the exact same. For example, these two functions are the exact same function. I've just rearranged to get something different over here on this side. Here we have quantity equals a function of price. And if you subtract 2p, rearrange, do the, do the math, you get p equals 50 minus 1 half q. Those are the same function. Anybody can do that math. So in my book, we should not have renamed that. We should have just let both of these be demand functions. Now, I will point out something embarrassing that economists have done, which is basically switch the p and q on the axes. Um, from what they normally would be. So here we have a demand function. And in my opinion, this is way more intuitive that the quantity that people will choose to buy depends on the price that the company sets. Now you can come up with situations where this is the best way to think about it. But like I said, they're this, the same function. But if you think about the y equals mx plus b format, if we look over here at the inverse demand function, we've got y equals mx plus b. So this is naturally going to map uh, p onto the y-axis, which is the way normal demand functions look. If you look at this, the actual demand function, this actually seems like q should be on the vertical axis. And that's also going to be downward sloping because, you know, we have a negative slope here. But we don't do this. Like, you never put quantity on the vertical axis. In fact, your professor will probably mark your paper wrong if you do. But this is more of a historical fact about how the economics field has decided to do things rather than how we should do them. As a matter of fact, if you do this the way other fields generally do, this would actually make more sense, having quantity on the vertical axis, price on the horizontal axis. And why is that? That is generally because you have the independent variable on the x-axis and the dependent variable on the y, or the explanatory variable and the response variable. This is going to be true of most scientific papers, the way graphs generally work, and yet this is not the way economists generally set up our graphs. We generally put price on the vertical, quantity on the horizontal. It's a little bit embarrassing that we do this when everybody else does it a different way, but sometimes you just have to go with historical precedent. In any case, this is the difference between demand function and inverse demand function. It's really just what is over here on the left hand of the equation and what is it a function of. That's it. They're, they're the same exact thing rearranged.